Hi, this is Christine McIver with GRNTraining101.com. Today's session is on instructions on how to add audio to your squeeze page. Now, there's a new free widget that WordPress has that allows you to add recorded audio onto any website. So this is very cool. It, it's saving me $19 a month <clears throat> by changing this feature over. So if you're using any type of audio software, this will definitely save you some money. So first things first, you need a software that allows you to record audio. I use Windows Movie Maker that comes free with Windows and you can locate it by going down to your start menu and clicking on programs and it will be located right there. If you're using Windows and you don't have this in there, just simply go ahead and download it. Google Windows Movie Maker and you can go and download it. So second thing, we're going to go into Movies Ma Windows Movie Maker and record our audio. So I will close out of there. So here I'm in Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to come over here. There's a little microphone. I'm going to click on that microphone. And now there's a button that says Start Narration. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Hi, this is Christine McIver. It is Monday, March 2nd, and this is a test. I'm going to stop the narration. I'm going to save the narration. And it's now importing the files. And I'm going to click Done. And now you're going to see the audio right down here. So let's go ahead and play it, make sure it's there it's there so I'm gonna go back okay so now what I want to do is uh, save this as a movie so I'm just gonna click on finish movie and save to my computer a little window will come up and ask you to save an, it as a name so I'm just going to save it as test narration March 2nd and make sure you know where you're saving it to press next and next so you can click play movie when you're finished or uh, just go ahead and cancel that. Okay, so the next step after saving the movie is switching the audio from a Windows movie type file to an mp3 file. So we're going to use a great program called Switch. This is a free program. You can find it by just googling it. So there's a download there. You can download this for free. So go ahead and download it. Okay, now that we're into Switch. All we need to do is, once so once Switch is downloaded, this is what it looks like. We're just going to add a file. So click here, add a file. And now I'm going to locate that test narration that I did. Test narration, March 2nd. Click Open. There's the file. I'm just going to highlight the file. And I'm going to come down here to the right-hand side, or up here there's a Convert button. So I'll just click Convert. And it's as simple as that. So it's taken my Windows Media file and switched it into an MP3. And there it is. So now what I'm going to do is minimize this. Just to let you know, Switch automatically puts uh, your audio into My Music folder, into the My Music folder. Okay, so let's come down here and go back to our instructions. Okay, so that's switched. Now we need to upload the new MP3 file to the internet. Now I use a program called FileZilla. It allows me to upload files very quickly to my web server. So I'm just going to go into one of my domains. I'm going to come back here and locate the file in my computer. It's more than likely in my music. And let's see I'll just put that at Christine McIver and there's the test so I'm just double clicked and that's going to move the test narration March 2nd mp3 over into my domain name Christine okay it shows that the file transfer has been successful I'm just gonna grab this so that I can copy and paste it Okay, so the file is now uploaded to the internet. We know where it is. It's at www.christinemcivercom slash and then the file name. So I'm going to come back here. Now the next step is uploading audio to WordPress. Okay, so the actual site is located at widgetbox.com. 
and you can do a Google search for the Google Audio widget and this is what it looks like. I'll just click play. This is what it looks like. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now to add your audio, it's very, very easy. Over here it says MP3 URL. Okay, so that's where I'm going to type in my domain name and then slash and the file. Test narration march, okay. You can check it whether you want it to autoplay or not. I would uh, autoplay if it's just a squeeze page and, and there's only one voice on there. There it is. Cool, hey? Okay, so all we need to do is grab the code. So I'm going to grab get embed code. All you need to do is copy and paste this code and add it into your website. So let's just do a test page. I'll go into the HTML version, into the body, and I'll copy and paste that and we'll click preview. And there's your audio. It's as simple as that. Now once you've saved your website you can upload it back up to the internet with the audio included. Here is a great example with audio on a website. This is what it will look like. If I click play, there it is. Okay, you've just saved $19 a month. I hope you found this training useful. Please visit me at grntraining101.com. Have a great day and don't forget to live, laugh, and travel.